Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Tisha. I post a lot of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. In today's video, we'll be trying out five different, well, not ten, five different style of jeans from Urban Outfitters. I freaking hated wearing jeans a couple of years ago. It's mainly because I thought it didn't look good on me. And the other thing was of the sizing. It's so hard to find a good pair of jeans. Well, at least for me, because my lower body, especially my thigh area, is bigger than my waist area. The sizing is so tricky. If I find something that goes above my thighs or my butt, the waist area is loose. But then if I find something according to my waist, then it doesn't pass my thigh at all. Finding jeans is so freaking annoying. Not just within like different label, the sizing is different. Within the same label itself, the sizing varies. I see other girls rocking it in TikTok, Instagram, and they look so freaking good. And now I'm on a hunt to find those style of jeans for myself as well. I do hope you find this video helpful, regardless of your body type. I hope this video pushes you to try out different styles that you've been wanting to try for years or, or months. So let's get started. This one is high-rise baggy jeans from BDG. I've been wanting to try this style for freaking forever. According to the website, it is a throwback style high-rise jeans from Urban Outfitters original staple label, BDG. Built from a rigid denim with a slouchy, relaxed fit through the straight leg that puddles at the ankle. The only color they have it available in this style is tinted denim. They have multiple sizes available from size 24 through 36. I end up getting this in size 29 and the price for this one is $69. In terms of the fit, I do really like the fit. It is not that loose on the waist area and there is still some space for my food baby to hide. And the butt feels good too. It's pretty comfortable, I would say. I can even squat. I think this is the most high-waisted jeans I've ever tried on. I do think I need to wear a shorter crop top than this. This whole slouchy thing at the bottom. I do love a slouchy look, but this one it just bulges too much at the bottom. I do really like the color. It's not that light, it's not that dark. It's like right in between. This is the skate jeans from brand BDG. The main reason why I got it is because of this beautiful color and the relaxed fit. According to the website, this jean features a relaxed fit from the high waist down through the straight leg. Built from a rigid denim, so true. Beside the elasticated waist, Everything is super rigid. There is no stretch whatsoever. They have sizes 24 to 34. I ended up getting this in size 28. I do like the overall fit of this jeans. It's loose, so it's pretty comfortable from down below here. This area is very tight. I think I need to size up by one because not only the waist area is tight, even this area is really snug i freaking love this color so much i have a thing for anything that has a pink tone my bed sheet i do like the length too it ends exactly below my ankle and the main thing is i love the pockets i am so freaking tired i end up going to urban outfitters to get the sizes for the skater jeans they do not have the pink one in size 29 so i ended up getting the black one just to try it out they do have the pink one available in the website size 29 does fit much more comfortable than size 28. The hip area is still so tight that I can't easily put my hands inside the pocket. I have to like shove it in. The only thing is if I size up to 30 to make sure this is comfortable, I think this is gonna be pretty loose. Levi's Hands Down is one of my favorite brands for jeans. This one, I got it in 501 original high rise straight leg. According to the website, this is a signature silhouette cut with a straight leg and high waist. Rigid denim makes for a vintage look but subtle just with subtle distressing, they have size 24 through 34. The original price is 118 and now it's available for sale for $98. In order to put these buttons, I had to suck in so hard. There's no stretch to it at all. But other than that, I do like the wash. The fit at the bottom, it is slouchy again. That's the style I'm really into right now. I was never into this dress style before, but now I'm so into it. Size 30 is way more comfortable than size 29. I can actually talk to you guys without feeling out of breath. I still have to suck in to make sure I can button this up, but it was way more easier. The only thing is still this section is still very tight. I can't really move. Like, Well, I can move, obviously. It's just I can't move as freely as I would like to. If I size up just for this section, 
the waist area will be loose. Overall, I do like the fit. It's not as high-waisted as I would like to. Next up is this jeans from Levi's. It's their Levi's Wedge Icon Jean Ethans. This is a must-have Levi's wedgie, wedgie or wedge jean. Wedgie would be weird. For a vintage look we love, I love a vintage look, in a classic rigid denim that softens up over time. It's built with a straight leg fit that's slightly slouchy through the thigh and tapers in at the ankle. For sizing, they do have sizes from 24 to 34. The original price for this is $98 and now it's on sale for $88. I ended up getting this in size 28. It has cut out on the knee area and then the bottom is not sewed in. This this one does not even go up my butt and when they say rigid they were not saying that lightly it's it doesn't go anywhere there's no elasticity to it at all this is the cowboy jeans from bdg i didn't even know there's something that exists called cowboy jean according to the website this is high-waisted for a 90s look, it is crafted from a rigid denim with a relaxed fit through the straight leg that falls below the ankle. For size and fit, it says it is high rise, straight leg, and full length. They have various colors available on the website. They have black, wash black, ivory, brown multi. Oh my goodness. Blue multi, vintage denim light with patches. Oh, this color is pretty nice. This one is vintage denim medium. They have sizes from 24 through 35. Four. Mine was $64 and I got this in size 29. These jeans are high rise as well, but it is nothing compared to the one I just previously tried on. Thigh area is a bit tight, but it does not restrict movement. Definitely, I can't really squat like this one. Like, I can squat still here. I think it's because of the material. The material feels much more rigid compared to these ones. But if I do size up, it'll be loose on me because the waist does fit me pretty well. And the bottom area has again like a slouchy look. I see why it's called cowboy, cowboy jeans mainly because you can wear your boots underneath underneath the de jeans. It does give a slouchy look but it's not all like gathered up together at the bottom. Size 30 in cowboy jean is much more comfortable than size 29 but the thing is the waist area is so freaking loose. In terms of the fit this is so comfortable this is so loose i can like literally shove my hands in i'll rather wear size 29 and stretch it out after after wearing a couple of times in terms of quality both bdg and levi's jeans felt very sturdy and durable levi's material is definitely higher quality than bdg but overall both were pretty damn good in terms of the fit i like certain portion of the style of one jean then I like the certain portion of the other style it wasn't I just felt it wasn't it yet so far I think I'm gonna keep the cowboy jean especially if I'm able to get in this color I'm definitely keeping it the other one I think I'm gonna keep is the skater jeans in pink color if I'm able to get the bigger size online I think it looks super cute during summer with this white top and then those chunky white shoes this is it for today's video thank you so much for watching do let me know in the comments below if I should create like a series I think it'd be fun a series of let's say trying out baggy jeans from five different brands or within the same brand itself trying out different style of jeans not just jeans it could be any clothing material it could be like dresses crop top i don't know let me know in the comments below if there is a certain clothing item you want me to try it out if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel it truly motivates and pushes me pushes me pushes me to create this kind of content and i will see you guys next week bye